We take a lot of pride in our fabric selection. We strive to offer our customers only the highest quality fabrics available in the market. We have a huge array of colors, compositions, patterns, styles, the list goes on. We have close relationships with many of the most well-renowned fabric mills in the world. We know and love all things fabric. I want to run you through the basics about the fabrics we use to construct your suit. We're going to start off by getting into the different materials that compose these fabrics. The most common material used to make suiting fabric is sheep's wool, specifically the wool of the merino sheep. Merino hair is long, strong, and has superior recovery properties. These characteristics have many benefits conducive to creating a well-weighted fabric, perfect for a cloth that needs to drape over a body. Wool is most commonly graded by supernumbers. Supernumbers are intended to indicate the fineness of the fibers. The higher the supernumber, the finer the fibers. Higher and lower supernumbers each have their respective benefits, however, supernumbers aren't necessarily an indicator of a cloth's quality. For example, a high supernumber wool is softer to the touch, and lower supernumber wools create durable suits. Since supernumbers aren't a perfect indicator of quality, many mills will instead grade their cloth by composition, weave, and weight. Nowadays, the highest quality of worsted wool is graded by the diameter of its fibers in microns. Fabric weight helps indicate the seasonality of a worsted wool. Wool that weighs 9 ounces per yard is considered a four season weight, great year round in cold and moderate climates. Lighter weight wools are commonly used for spring summer suits and jackets. Traditional tuxedo cloth is typically lighter in weight as well, but is also worsted, like most regular suitings. Heavier wools are used for fall, winter suiting and jacketing, as well as overcoats and other outerwear. A common example of a heavyweight fabric is tweed. Tweed is a woolen cloth which means the weave is looser and less refined in comparison to your average worsted wool. These fabrics vary from their worsted counterparts. English milled cloth tends to be heavier in weight than Italian milled cloth. This is a result of English cloth commonly being a four harness weave and Italian cloth being a three harness weave. You can think of this as Italian milled cloth being sleek like a Porsche 911, whereas English cloth is your Rolls Royce. Personally, I prefer English cloth for my suits for their wrinkle resistance and hardy feel. Beyond the intricacies of fabric grading, there are hundreds of different weaving styles used in the worsted milling process. The endless variety of weaving techniques, along with artistically alternating colors of yarn, is what allows there to be an endless amount of unique wool styles. As clothiers, we're grateful to have access to such a wide variety of wool. It allows us to provide our customers with the ideal fabric for any need or want. Wool is also commonly blended with other fibers. Wool, silk, and linen are often blended together for spring summer jacketing cloth. Fabrics of this blend are often made to look more casual by using large check patterns and bright colors. The linen content is used to give this type of cloth a less refined finish, and the silk content gives the cloth a soft luster and helps prevent wrinkling. Wool and silk without linen is a less common blend, but is frequently used to recreate the same style of common wool silk linen jacketing in a more refined finish. A wool fabric with 2-3% lycra content gives it a bit more stretch. Wool naturally has a tiny bit of give, but some people want more for the additional comfort. In order to go above a 3% lycra content, fabric mills will sometimes add polyester to the blend, as it helps the cloth better return to its original shape after expanding. Polyester is most often found in less expensive wool blends. The term wool blend typically is used in reference to a wool and polyester blend. Wool polys are graded by their percentage of wool content. Higher wool percentages are considered better quality. Still, wool poly blends are considered among the lower quality of suiting cloth. As we have high standards for our fabric, we source the highest mill quality wool poly blends on the market. These fabrics are great for our customers who are starting out on a budget. The last material we'll touch on with blended wools is cashmere. Cashmere comes from a goat which produces an extremely premium fiber known for its soft touch and warm nature. You will find wool blended with 10% cashmere to be slightly warmer than an identical fabric composed of 100% wool. A 50% wool and 50% cashmere jacket will typically be made in a lighter weight to offset the added warmth. This is done to create a cloth that has a buttery smooth feel. A medium weight, open face, 90% cashmere and 10% wool overcoat, sometimes referred to as camel hair, can keep you warm in the harshest of winters. Before we move on to cottons, Let's touch on the material used in the lining of our jackets and pants. The most common fibers used to mill linings are polyester and viscous. Most linings on the market are a poly-viscous blend, with higher quality linings being 100% viscose. 
your average off-the-rack suit will be lined with a polyester or a polyviscous blend. Although this is what is common in the market, we boast our usage of 100% Cupro Bemberg linings wherever possible. Cupro is a recellulose cotton material that is lighter in weight, highly breathable, and much softer than linings with polyester content. Think of Cupro as pulling the lint out of your dryer and reweaving it into a fabric. We line all of our trousers with Bemberg pant lining, and we recommend our customers select a Bemberg lining for their jackets. We have a wide selection of both Cupro and polyviscous linings. Cotton is the primary material of our shirting fabrics. Cotton fabric is graded by the third count of its warp and weft. Cotton grown in different environments have slightly different characteristics. A commonly mentioned cotton type is Egyptian cotton. Egyptian cotton refers to cotton grown in arid environments. This type of cotton is popular due to its long fiber length. Similar to wool, longer cotton fibers allow for finer yarn and softer cloth. Standard cotton shirting is usually Egyptian cotton, milled in China or Italy. Another type of cotton is Sea Island cotton, which is simply cotton grown in hot and humid conditions. Sea Island cotton is a less common type of fiber, and as such, it is considered a luxury version of regular cotton. Its qualities are very similar to that of Egyptian cotton. Besides shirting, cotton is commonly used in suiting and separate trousers. When used in suiting, cotton has a very casual appearance. As a plain weave cotton suit ages, wear and fading along the seams is more noticeable than on a wool suit. This is what gives cotton jackets and suits a more casual feel. For trousers, cotton is the material used to make fabrics like denim, corduroy, plain khaki fabric, chinos, all of which are commonly blended with lycra for added stretch. Lastly, velvet jacketing material is most commonly made up of cotton, but velvet can on occasion be milled in polyester or wool. Linen, like cotton, is a plant-based fiber. Linen is used to make suiting and shirting that is going to be worn in very hot environments. Linen is very breathable and lightweight. It's not a very soft material and is known to be very prone to wrinkling. Those that love linen suiting and shirts often say, embrace the wrinkle. Like cotton, linen products are considered very casual when it comes to style. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that the information in this video will help you when deciding what fabric to use for your suit.